Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on RTHD. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe if this helps you out. What I'm going to try to do as quickly as possible is to show you guys how to create scrolling text in OBS Studio. And I'll also make a subsequent video where I do this also for um, the other OBS, Streamlabs OBS as well too, but it's basically the same theory. So what we have is an empty theme. This is OBS Studio 26, version 26. And where we wanna head over is to, of course, this is the default scene. We wanna head over to the sources section. And in the sources section, what we'd wanna do is click on the plus button to add a source. And now the first thing we need to do is to add some text. Now imagine that this is gonna be the screen where, you know, maybe your video, maybe some video is gonna be shown. Um, some sort of you know maybe like the camera or something like that i'll probably do that in a minute or two but the main thing is to get to the text okay so we're going to create a new text and you could label it whatever you want we could just leave it as that for the while and here is where we type in some text so you say something like please subscribe oh no we could go please like and subscribe to the channel if this was helpful don't forget to comment if you have any questions thank you all right and now what we have is some text and of course the text is large we could of course resize it if we want to i could try to get to resize it just doesn't seem like it wants to resize for some reason let's try that back okay move it back here i think we could probably resize it from here font size right all right so the main thing we have something like that right and the thing is, it's going to become a banner of some sort. This is too small. Uh, when you try to do a video, that's what happens. Um, let's try that. Okay, so usually we find these like tickers, and these are also called tickers as well too, right? Uh, banners or tickers at the bottom where it's going to scroll. But of course, it's not scrolling, so we have to figure out how to do that. So we already have the text layer. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to right-click on the text layer. We're going to go to filters. And it's filter sounds very non-intuitive but this is where you'll find it now in filters you 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 see it's empty we're gonna add a new filter so that's press the plus button and then you're gonna see scroll and that's what we're looking for so we're looking for scroll and you can name it anything you want I just keep it as scroll and here you get the options of horizontal speed and vertical speed now horizontal refers to left to right so if you wanted to scroll left to right or right to left, you change the horizontal speed. If you wanted to, to uh, move up or down, you change the vertical speed. Let me give you an example. So right now, I'm going to move this to the horizontal speed to the right. And as you can see, it's starting to scroll. All right. And there you have pretty much done. You have created a ticker, a scrolling ticker on OBS studio and just to add just to make this look a little bit more like what what you would eventually have is of course you could just add like you know like a video capture device we will add one of the cameras which we do have here and obviously that's you know that's a bit wrong right but we want to drag the text to the top and there we have a scrolling ticker and you could change of course like the color um, and so forth so instead of white i could probably change it to black okay and now we have scrolling text now what you could just further do just to make things um, a little bit even better is probably to add um, something like a color source perhaps um, this is not going to be perfect but this is just to give you an example so we're going to add a color source and Let's make the height something short, right? So let's make the height like 60. All right, so now we have a color source and now we use, we could use this, we could drag this color source and it's right and bring the text to the top. And now you have one of those kind of more official tickers. All right, so guys, I hope that this helps you out. Um, and with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon on another episode of RTHG coming to a YouTube screen near you. Take care. Bye-bye.